Hey, this is the car doctor coming to you with a quick tip for aligning vehicles and front end alignment machines. Watch this quick video and I'm going to help keep you on the road. So this is my alignment machine. It's a pretty slick little unit. It's the John Bean uh, two camera setup. It's got a uh, uh, module assembly computer and uh, it's got a uh, dual camera um, motorized assembly there uh, and then uh, then it's the target mounted on each wheel and uh, the cameras align with those targets pretty sweet unit it'll uh, you can use it on an unlevel surface I could roll this thing out into my parking lot and slam it on a bus and uh, do an alignment right right out there on uneven surface. It's a pretty slick little unit. It's pretty quick. Uh, just have to do a rollback measurement and then a caster camber sweep, and all my angles will be displayed. Uh, and it's it's fast, so that's a real time saver. And the coolest part about it is every alignment I do is just dead on. My steering wheels are always straight as an arrow, and. Uh, the alignment is just dead on. So super user friendly. Um, the uh, information and adjustment procedures and videos that are uh, with the program are, have always been accurate and helpful and, uh, and graphically uh, complete. And uh, just overall a great little unit and it's cost effective. It's uh, it's relatively inexpensive. So if you can get into one of these systems for under 20 grand, uh, and it's gonna provide you years of trouble-free service, I just, uh, I think it's a win-win situation. Even for a DIYer, um, this would be just a cool unit to have in your garage. You wouldn't have to have a lift uh, associated with it to perform uh, these adjustments. And, uh, yeah, it'd be pretty cool. We're going to do an alignment here. I'll show you just uh, how quick and easy it is. First, we're at the uh, customer data screen, and I'm going to enter the customer name and uh, information. And uh, then I'm going to go to the vehicle entry. And in this case, we're working on a 06 Wrangler. 06 Jeep Wrangler, so I'm going to enter Jeep Trucks 2006 Wrangler, and this screen will show me all the uh, alignment angles, minimums and maximum and preferred angle, and uh, now we'll jump to the rollback screen. So we're going to perform a rollback measurement. We have our targets mounted to the wheels, and the camera is adjusted to the proper heights to register those targets. And now I'm going to roll the vehicle back and just follow the on-screen prompts to do the rollback measurement. Okay, now I'm going to do the caster camber sweep uh, by going to the measurement area where I can click on the caster camber measurement and it's instructing me to install the brake pedal depressor and uh, pull my turntable uh, pins out and uh, I don't have a rear slip plate but uh, we're just going to leave that alone. So uh, I'm going to do that real quick. You can see the uh, indicators here. They're actually, uh, uh, you can go just off of these and it'll tell you what to do. But when, they're, uh, when there's any of them that are red, it'll indicate an obstruction to that target. Uh, but we're all green now, so I'll click OK. Now it's instructing me to turn the wheels through the sweep so it can make the measurements.
Okay, we got all our measurements and we can see here that we have toe-in problems. We have rear or front caster. And we actually have a right rear camber problem. It's probably hit a, hit a big bump on the rear and knocked that out. That's not going to be easy to adjust. Um, the rest of the stuff we can square away uh, relatively easily. So if I wanted to adjust front left caster, I can click on this video and it will have a video depiction of uh, the method in which caster is adjusted. And it's showing me that the eccentric on the lower track bar, uh, the cam there will be the adjustment point for changing that measurement. So we're going to do that. and get this thing squared away. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, the right rear does have a camber issue. Uh, however, that's going to require uh, some shimming. Uh, that could be actually a bent axle tube, um, but uh, we're not going to address that. We'll just let them know. But otherwise, we've got this thing dialed in and uh, should be good to go. Yeah, that was pretty easy and quick. Um, so I definitely recommend checking it out. You can get into one of these units for under 20, 20K. Hey, once again, this has been The Car Doctor. Hey, thanks for watching. I appreciate the likes and subscriptions to my channel. And I wish you good luck with your repairs. Have a good one.